is what consistent very good all growing must be positive huh? okay fcf is what consistent positive very good consistent positive very good and what is next one r what is r roe very good roe criteria is what Yes, more than 15%. Very good. I'm so proud of all of you. Very good. What is I? What is I? Interest coverage. Very nice. Interest coverage must be more than what? Uh, more than 4. Not 4% uh, ratio, more than 4. Uh, even better is more than what? more than 10 very good very good very good guys really very good okay r i e e later we will talk about it oh, no, wait, wait. okay next is what and what is n come come there's 200 over of you but there's only less than 30 of you replying come 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 net profit margin okay i hope all of you actually have active learning so that you can remember things much faster net profit margin Come, come, come. More than how many percent? Correct. Right. Very good, guys. More than 10 percent. Even better. How, more than how many percent? 20 percent. Yes, very good. Very good. Next one is D. D is then for what? Dividend. Very good. What is the criteria for dividend? As long con consistent dividend can help. Consistent paying dividend, no matter it's high or low. Okay, then we give it a pass. However, we need to think note of it. Think note of what? Think note of what? Ah, the payout ratio. Okay, need to be below 90%. Very good, very good. Guys, I'm so proud of you. First of all, can you type this word called E Frank? This is the checklist. E friend. Ah, I want you to remember. Very good, very good. Very good. Okay, so can all of you type C C C. Very good. Okay, so some of you mentioned hey guys, uh Glenn, I I I cannot uh customize, not not customize. It's okay, I go through one more time, huh? One more time. Okay, first of all, after you go to that already. Click on any any stock. Once again, any stock. Let's say Apple. After that, ah, uh, okay. Click on this thing called fact sheet. See fact sheet. Boom. Okay. After that, click on this thing called customize. Boom. Okay. After that, add all the e friend thing. E F R I. I don't have I. So type trust coverage. E I. Okay. E E. I don't have yet. E is economic mode, will not be here, then N and then D, maybe that, per share, per share, okay, I'm going to go, E, friend, E, F, R, I, N, D, sweet, update, fact sheet, dang, 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 don't worry, okay, so let's go through this, for Apple, let's go through EPS, huh? I want all of you to look for it for three seconds, pass or fail, P or F, Pass. Okay, one point something, two point something, three point something, four point something, four point something. Nice. Next thing is free cash flow. E or F. Pass or fail. <laughs> exactly. Also pass. Not only not only positive, but it's growing. Wow, very good. Fifty thousand, sixty thousand, seventy thousand, hundred thousand. Okay. Of course, this is in millions, lah. Okay. But you know what I mean. Growing. Okay. Very good. E R O E. Pass or fail. 
Why? 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 You should invest in a good company. Once again, I give you an example. This gentleman is called Alvin Go. Alvin Go, after learning all these step by step criteria, he actually messaged me. He said, uh, Glenn, thank you so much for sharing with me all these criteria because he, as a beginner, right, within the first few months of investing, as a pure beginner, right, he already made more than 30%. How many of you think that more than 30% ROI is a good result? If you think that it's a good result, type in G. Okay, so I want all of you to apply this diligently. Okay, so next thing, some of you ask, what is that E? The E is called economic mona. One of the most important criteria in buffer investing. Uh, so what exactly is a point? So let me ask all of you, what is a point? In pure English term, what is a point? Um, Okay, what are our castle? Safety net, durable advantage. Wow. Very, very good. All of you are correct. Basically, it's a protective layer, barrier around castle, defense. Correct, 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 correct. Very good. Okay, so coming back, right? We understand what is mode. So, what exactly is economic mode in the context of business? Okay, so let's continue for this first. So, in this castle, right? With this castle, the king inside want to protect all the people, like all the soldiers, all the civilians everybody in this castle okay so enemy will attack they definitely will attack because they want to own the land conquer the food whatsoever okay so what is a moat a moat in this scenario is the river here in the small water here to prevent enemy from entering ah then enemy want to enter must swim across now but while swimming across inside got crocodile wow they must breathe through the crocodile and not gonna makan or not gonna you know beaten by crocodile not only that after even they reach here it's so high you no know, inside they will throw stone here or shoot arrow and everything so all these are mode of a company uh, these are example of mode of this castle but we want to see when we invest in certain companies whether the company got protective layer or not got protective um a defense not so that other company cannot be there if a company very easy cannot replace, uh, that means totally no more. No more type of company we don't invest. Okay. So I give you live example. Very easy to understand. Okay, some example. Uh. So um, let's start with Google. Uh. Okay. So can all of you share with me for this question? What are what are the product and services of Google? Can all of you type? Advantage over competitors. Yes, you can see that. Uh, some of you say Gmail, some of you say ads, search engine, advertising. Very good. By the way, when I'm looking here, not that I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the chat. Okay. Search engine, YouTube. Yes, all these are products and services. So how they make money? Come, these are products and services. Good. Next question is how they make money? Good. Uh, mainly advertisement. Mainly. Very good, guys. Very good okay so let me ask you how many of you think uh, not why uh, how many of you think that it can sustain more than 10 years not say grow uh, sustain that means 10 years later hey, there's still google around if you think yes type y if you think no type n uh, so most of you say why right that means yes right that means they got some form of work whether is it strong or not strong later we don't worry okay so let me give you some example of type of most very important. One type of mode is called intangible asset. Okay, can all of the type IA, short form IA, stand for intangible asset. Mm. Intangible asset means an asset that you cannot touch and see and or smell like intangible, you cannot see and touch. So things that block competition or allow companies to charge even more. I give you some example. One of the intangible asset is brand. Why some people pay more to go Nike? To buy Nike stuff, Nike shoe, Nike bag, blah blah blah. Why some people 
Don't mind going McDonald's and some random Tom Dick Harry Western food. Right. Branding. Branding. Ah, and then this brand, right, actually can sell for millions or even billions of dollars. Why? Because people are willing to pay more, people are willing to buy for that company because they feel safe, feel good, a feel good factor. Another example is patents, license, or government. I give you an example. Uh, let's say uh, some of you are from Malaysia, some of you are from Singapore, some of you are from Hong Kong, I understand. Let's say from Singapore perspective. Uh, um, let's say Changi Airport. Changi Airport is not listed, by the way. But let's say airport business, for example. Is, in my opinion, Changi Airport has a very strong word, which is government approval, uh, setting up airport in Singapore. If you want to compete with Singapore government, because airport, Changi Airport belongs to Singapore government, you want to compete with Singapore government, go and open an airport, let's say another airport next to Singapore. Sorry, not next to Singapore, next to Changi Airport. Can you do that, yes or no? Yes or no? No, la, the government won't give you license. La. Ah, just because of this small reason, this one reason, right? Johnny Airport business have a mode ready. La. You cannot compete with them. You like it or not? You're a billionaire, so what? You cannot compete with Singapore government. Ah, this one example. La. Okay, and some of the example is patents, like some medicine patent for 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. Ah, you cannot compete with them because it's patented. La. Patented means Let's say I got this ABC stock, a, you know, ABC drug uh, that can cure cancer, one example. Uh, I, I hold a patent for five years. Patent means a license to put it. Nobody can copy me for five years. So I want to sell whatever amount I like. I sell one million people still buy because cure cancer, example. But after five years, people can copy. So within these five years, I'm being protected. Something like that. How many of you understand? If you understand, type IA again. It means intense best so we want to invest in business that got economic growth. One of the examples is intangible asset. If everybody can copy you, then everybody price more than I don't invest in such business. Nah. Nobody want. Okay. Next thing is low cost advantage, LCA. What is low cost advantage? Where business can produce goods or purchase supplies at a much lower cost. Ah. Okay, one example is Walmart. What do I mean? Okay. Let me show you. Let's say this is a this is a US map, US map. Okay. Then there's a lot of Walmart. Walmart is one of the biggest uh, supermarket in US. A lot of Walmart around US are. So whenever I just let you know, whenever there is a mama store, you know what is mama store, right? Singapore Malaysia, you know. Mama store, that means convenience store, like a small, small convenience store. Okay? If the small convenience store open next to a Walmart, maybe within five kilometers. Usually, uh, the whole community here uh, will celebrate. Why? Usually. Okay, let me share with you. Uh. This is Walmart. This is Mama store. Convenience store. Okay, let's say you want to buy Coke. Uh, let, let's say Mama store sell $1 for one Coke. Uh, then Walmart see you really. Wow, you sell $1 for one Coke. Okay lah. What I do is one dollar or so, but for five coke, five cans of coke. Let me ask you: If you are coke lover, you will you go Walmart or Mama store? W or M? Exactly, Walmart. So after six months, everything like that. What will happen to Mama store? A newly owned Mama store. What what what, what will happen to Mama store? Everybody go Walmart. What will happen to Mama store? Ah, close down. And after Mama store closed down, what will happen to Coke? I mean, what will happen to Walmart? Okay, coming back already. Promotion no more. One dollar to one Coke. And this is how Walmart kill all the competitors beside them. Legally. Why Walmart can do that? Because Walmart is big. So if they can demand, the cost price very low. Uh, okay, what do I mean? Walmart let's say they got 1,000 store, every store buy 10,000 cans of coke per month. Then that means they can buy maybe 10 million coke, 10 million cans of coke. But Mama store very small. One, one month maybe only can buy 1,000 cans of coke. So if the supplier of coke, which is Coca-Cola, sell to the Mama store at 50 cents 
on 10. One month, let me ask you about the cost price. Is it less than 50 cents or more than 50 cents? More or less cost price? Less, uh, maybe only what? 30 cents per cup. Because they mass buy, they make bargain. Uh, bargain. They big ma, they can big, they can pick. big. And this is how they crush competitors. This is called low cost advantage. If you understand what, what am I trying to say? Like LCA, low cost advantage. Company they got low cost advantage, have a strong mode. Okay, still got another two to three more. Let me show you. One of it is network effect. These are some example. Okay, the network effect is present when the value of service increase as more people use the service. What do I mean? Facebook is one example. As more people use Facebook, as you are. This is FB ma. Uh, Facebook, uh. as more users use Facebook, more advertiser want to throw money inside Facebook. Okay, and then as more people use Facebook, more content inside Facebook, also create more users to go in and get what your friend is doing and see the content. So you can see as more content, more users, more users, more ads. So Facebook value grows. Ah, so the value grows. How many of you understand what I'm going to translate? You understand type you. Another good example is this. Let me erase this. Huh? Another good example is uh, Visa. Do you all know how Visa make money? How Visa make money, guys? Visa. Ah, credit card. Visa is not really credit card, credit card. Uh. A lot of mistake is credit card. Uh. Okay, it's, it's the transaction fee. They don't sell credit card. Uh. Credit card is the bank give us. They only take transaction fee. No matter is it bank or what. Transaction fee. That means every time we buy a sofa, let's say $100, they will take 3% to 7%. Every time we buy a TV, $1,000, they will also take 3 to 7%. Depends on which country, which location, blah, blah, blah. But it's around there. So you can imagine this one minute when we are having this lesson, uh, this one minute in the whole world. Uh, how many people actually tapping on credit card right now? I mean, tapping on Visa card right now. Then, de 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 then after the money, keep going to their bank account. So how Visa make money? And why Visa got a very strong level effect? Okay. As more users have Visa card, more merchants would like to install credit card machine that can accept Visa. Make sense? If you think makes sense, type MS. Ah. And then same thing, as more merchants use Visa card machine, more users would like to have a credit card that have Visa so that they can buy in more shops now. So you can see more, more user, more merchant. More merchant, more users. As that, as time goes by, Visa value grows. It is called network effect. Can you name me some other company that got network effect? That means as more people use, even more people use. And even more people use, the value of the company grows. That means they make more money. Huh? Can you name some? Okay, good. Nets, okay, oh, all these are payment gateway. Other than payment gateway? Yeah, payment gateway is correct. Huh? Mastercard, Nets, yes. Other than that, other than that. Very good, TikTok also, yes. Very good. Other than that, PayPal, yes, also. Not only that, guys, you forget. Huh? Shopee also. Amazon also. As more sellers in Amazon, as more sellers sell things in Amazon, more buyer would like to, like, like to go in and buy things. More products, more. And as more demand, more people buy things, more sellers are willing to put things inside Amazon to sell. So more sellers, more buyers, more buyers, more sellers. Ah. Very good, very good. Handphone operator, uh, I don't think so, uh, handphone operator. But anyway, come back to it. Network effect currently is one of the economic mode that make company grow extremely fast you see all the fastest growing company 
almost all of the network effect. Almost. Amazon grows CPA fast, no effect. Facebook grows super fast, no effect. TikTok grow very fast, no effect. Alibaba, Taobao grow very fast, no effect. Other economic model is strong. I'm not saying not strong. I'm just saying no effect is extremely the key why some companies grow extremely fast. Fast, the key is fast. Okay? Okay, I believe all of you understand already. Next, switching costs. Okay. Switching costs where it is costly to switch to other brands or competitors. That means the company have this very strong work cost switching cost. What do I mean? Okay, I give you another one example. Uh, okay. Let's say Microsoft. Painful to switch up. So let's say this building is MNC, it's like got ten thousand. 10,000 employees, a lot of employees are, huh? and inside all the computer uh, use Microsoft Office example. At Microsoft Office every year charge this company $1 million example, yearly subscription example. So this boss, maybe ABC company, want to cut costs, want to use Microsoft Office, really. want to use some free software. Are there free software that can use? Definitely yes. But once they change to this free software, these 10,000 employees, all the files are for the past 10 years, they need to switch from it. Not only that, need to retrain all these employees, maybe three months, three months, retrain to use a new software, new connection, blah, blah, blah. And then potentially in these three months of training, the productivity increase or decrease? I or D, productivity of employees decrease. So you as a MNC CEO, uh, will you continue to use Microsoft or you want to switch to free software? Continue or free? Continue. Uh. Because it's very painful to switch to a free software. Correct? And when you use free software, you know what happened? You connect, you cannot contact, connect with your supplier. So because the supplier also use Microsoft Office, you send them, they say can open. <laughs> can you see that? So you confirm continue lah. So can you see that the, 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 the pain of switching, pain of switching is much higher. Uh, if the pain of switching is very high, that means this particular company, which is Microsoft, right? Product has a high switching cost. High switching cost. Uh, how many of you understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say? If you understand type, H S C high switching cost. Mm. Can you name some other company other than Adobe and this uh, company that got high switching cost? Can you name some? These are the company we love it. Oh my god, SAP, you're right, man. Mala. SAP also very high switching cost. Very good. We love this style company. Salesforce, yes, very good. iPhone. Subjective. Okay. Auto desk. Okay, good, good. Very good. A lot of you get it already. Yes, yes, yes. So we would like to invest in such company. Yes, Adobe also. Huh? A lot of uh, what video editor and a lot of uh, designer always tell me that they use Adobe Premiere Pro. They use Illustrator. They use Photoshop. They love it. And they're very hard to switch because even they can switch. Huh? They send to their editor or send to their boss or maybe send to their supplier. That means they edit for someone. They can open. So very high switching cost, they cannot. And then almost every year, Adobe keep increasing subscription fee. People still pay. Why? Because high switching cost. Huh? Okay. So we don't, we may not like them as a customer, but we like them as a shareholder. If you are a shareholder, uh, shareholder of uh, Microsoft MSFT, every year, the product of MSFT keep increasing. I ask you, uh, you as shareholder, you happy or not happy? H or NH? CP happy. Uh. But let's say you're a customer. You happy or sad? Customer, huh? you sad, right? Not happy, right? You very sad, right? Then be a shareholder. Simple. Don't they? Don't they? <laughs> yeah. So you, you, if you're a shareholder, your, your, your friend, uh, all choosing uh, a software uh, to send documents, which company software will you recommend 
if you are shareholder of Microsoft. You suggest Microsoft huh? Because not because you are a shareholder and you believe in them, right? Because if you don't believe in them, then don't be a shareholder. There's so many other choices. Huh? Okay, so let me summarize. Huh? Uh, we have talked about uh, 